Hello guys, today I want to talk about the most expensive mistake most people make when hiring a web designer. Okay, so there's many mistakes that I believe people make when they hire a web designer. But what I want to talk about today is the most expensive one, which I believe it's costing a, a, a lot of people a lot of money by not focusing on not making this mistake. Okay, so now. Let me, let, let me make an example to, to sort of help you understand why I call this the most expensive mistake. Okay, and just just to give you um, an insight on how much, you know, um, how much money you actually lose by just making this one super expensive mistake. Okay, now let's let's say for example there are two websites. Okay, now we got uh, website A. Okay website A and then we got uh, website B okay we got website B okay now uh, so now let's say now this website here okay this website here if I can actually get it to work okay now let's say now this website here the one of these websites maybe pays 200 rands for this website okay so he's very he's very happy with himself like you know i got a good deal on my website right pays 200 bucks okay now let's say this guy here okay he pays for his website he pays ten thousand. okay he pays ten thousand for his website, right? Now, obviously, the guy with website B is like, ah, he's an idiot, man. He overpaid for his website. I got a good deal, and he got a very, very bad deal, right? That's how it looks like. Okay. Now, let's say now uh, this website here. Okay. Now, this website here gets. Now, let's say now this website here. gets zero visitors okay because it's an html website you know nothing is more useless than an html build website but it also happens to be the cheapest website now it gets zero visitors all it does is is just for the guy to show to his friends and family family members like hey guys look at what i have the website right now this website here now this website here Okay. Let's say now it, it it gets maybe in a typical month it should be able to get at least a thousand visitors. Okay. Now it's not even that great. Okay. We can actually get better numbers than this, but let's work with a thousand visitors. Let's say now this website here gets a thousand visitors. Okay, and now let us also say uh, this website here. Okay, let us also say this website here gets zero sales. Okay, and now let's say this website here out of a thousand, we're sitting with um one percent conversion or let's say ten percent conversion just for for the sake of the case study so out of a thousand uh a ten percent that means they get 10 sales right in a typical month okay let's say now they get 10 sales because obviously uh the reason they would get such high conversions will just not be about the website but also they will follow up with the clients and call them and do all the stuff so they should be able to get at least 10 percent conversions now they get 10 sales okay now let's say now when we want to put money amounts onto these websites let's try to put uh, do, uh, money amounts on it let's say now he makes nothing a month from this thing right and then he makes out of 10 sales 
he could easily make if he makes a thousand or maybe climbed right if he makes a thousand or maybe climbed he can easily make uh, ten thousand a month on this website here right now when you look at this okay I'm gonna ask you again which website it's expensive and which one is cheap now when you take these numbers and say how much will this website make okay how much will this website make in in three months when you 3x that how much will this website make in three times how much will it make now how much will it make in six months how much will it make in 12 months and how much will it make in 24 months right. and how much will it make in 48 months in two years or three years or four years okay how much will this website make okay versus this one this one here how much will this website make how much will this website make in three months it will make 80,000 how much will it make in six months it will make 60,000 how much will it make in 12 months it will make 120,000 how much will it make in 24 months it will make 240,000 how much will it make in 48 months it will make 480,000 right so now I'm gonna ask you this question one more time which website is the most expensive and which website is the cheapest okay so remember guys a website is only as good as the amount of money it makes it's not as good as the amount of money you pay for it right because if you pay for it cheap and it makes money then that's a good deal but if you pay for it cheap it does not make money that's a very very big deal not only is it a big deal but it's, it is a super expensive mistake okay so now the question is what is what what makes a website be worth the price tag that it, it's on okay what makes a website say you know it's 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 worth the money that i'm paying for it okay whether it's ten thousand whether it's two thousand whether it's whatever what what what's what value does the website bring to us it only brings one thing to us right it's only one thing that a website should bring which is what which is what a website should bring us customers period a website is only as good as its ability to bring us customers okay and we know that uh, a website for it to bring customers it needs to do what it needs to get website visitors okay it needs to get website visitors without without website visitors finding a way to get people to visit your website that website is useless okay but also that's the first thing number one it is that a website needs visitors right number two is that a website needs what it needs to have the ability to persuade right people to buy it needs to have ability to persuade people to buy and normally there's two things there's uh, there, there's a number of things that can work when it comes to persuasion right number one is it must have good offers Okay, sometimes we call them irresistible offers okay number two is it needs to uh, be able to come with a better solution or a better guarantee or a better something but all these things guys when we talk about better guarantees better solutions i can just break it down to only one word for you okay it needs to have better what copy okay it needs to have better copy it needs to be better it needs to have content that is optimized to persuade you need to have, you need to it needs to have better copy okay so now guys a website for you to work it needs to do one thing get you customers for you to get your customers you need to it needs to be able to get these two things dialed in get your new customers and the copy or the content must be optimized to persuade people to buy and if your website has these two things dialed in it is the cheapest website ever because no matter how what the, what's the price tag on the website you will always get your money back 
okay but if the website doesn't have these two things all it does it's it's just static it just doesn't bring you visitors it just doesn't convince people to buy anything then that is the most expensive website okay so I hope guys it makes sense what what i'm talking about so make sure that you avoid making this super expensive mistake when you hire a web designer focus on how you're going to get web website visitors focus on how you're going to craft irresistible offers that when someone comes to a website and see this or sees this offer and say wow man i gotta buy this thing right now you know and this is the most important thing that you need to consider when you're hiring a web designer so thank you very much guys for your time and hopefully we will talk soon